I all. Today we are going to know about some interesting news about MCLE, it stands for Mule Common Logger and Error Framework. MCLE consists of five parts currently we have cleared all data for demonstration purpose. As soon as you log in dashboards are defaulted, now let's have a glance about that tabs. Error Handler, we can see the three tabs named as Applications, Flows, Errors. In Applications we can see a list of applications. In Flows we can see Flows, application can have multiple flows. In Errors list of errors configured for application and flows. Reports, we can see two tabs named as Error Transactions, Logs. In error transactions we can search errors based on application and flows and can be exported. In logs we can see the audit logs which are populated while the application is running. Dashboards, we can see the various type of errors based on our, application, code, activity, flow. Master setup, we can see six tabs named as application types, error types, notification, human workflow, file path. Users. Solutions. We can search the solution for the different types of error which we frequently get which helps support team and one can add new solution for same problem or new error. Now let's move to the development part where we develop the project and integrate with MCLE. Let's have a glance at it. Now open the AnyPoint Studio. Here we can see the demo flow project search for MCLE in Mule Palette drag and drop it on the workspace in between two connectors, and in settings select the mLogger operation. mLogger, fetches the data of the application, flow and custom message provided by the developer for easy debugging and audit. In a flow we can use number of mLoggers each mLogger connector process the message which can be seen in the MCLE portal. Developer has to write custom message and message option for tracking in the logs. Similarly, add MCLE connector from Mule Palette as per developer need. Now run the demo project. We can observe the deployed message which indicates the project is running. Now log in to MCLE portal select reports tab and then click on the logs tab. Now we can see all logs logged by MCLE. If you want to see the detailed data log then double click on the log it shows pop up with details like application name, flow ID, host name, logging time and custom message. If you want to download the logs list then click on the export button which helps to download the file after downloading double click on that it opens the excel sheet with all the logging time, application name, message, flow id, host name. Hope you have learned how to use logger operation in MCLE. In our next video we will show you how to use error operation. For any questions please write us to mcleadiesp.com.